Hi, in this tutorial we will learn how to delete duplicate files from your system. So if you are having hundreds or thousands of files and you know that there are lots of duplicates, uh, then deleting them manually will be a very tedious process. So one of the software um, to delete uh, these software, these files, these duplicate files um, is fdupes which is really uh, very handy and, uh, and works really well. So first of all we will uh, create dummy files which are having uh, very uh, small content and we will calculate its hash to verify if fdupes works in uh, the way in the way it should be working so let's see so we are having this folder um, f dupes and inside it we have driver and now we are having uh, about five uh, five files so we will calculate the md5 hash of uh, a file a which is uh, 9436 something like this then we have a duplicate copy of that file which is uh, a copy it is also same md5 hash if you will compare them then we have um, a copy 11 which is also having the same md5 hash and then we have md5 a1 it is having different md5 hash and we are having a uh, last file which is b1 it is also having very different uh, md5 hash so duplicate files will not have md5 uh, similar md5 hash so it is easy to identify the difference if we are having different md5 hash or different files so what f dupes does is it uh, calculates the md5 hash and the partial md5 hash um, it also compares the file size so chances of uh, delete uh, identification of uh, duplicate files uh, in correct way increases so let's check how fdupes work so first of all we go to, we'll go to fdupes directory and then we will type uh, fdupes and then we will use the parameter uh, we have uh, we have to use uh, recursive that is hyphen r uh, it is for if you are having uh, duplicate files in multiple directories so it will recursively uh, get into every single directory and then it will access every single file to calculate the uh, md5 hash of uh, every single file in, the, in that directory so then we will be using hyphen d um, yeah. so let's get into try one and also we want to ignore um, the non-zero files which are having um, zero size so, so now it identified um, three different files which are which according to it according to ftubes is duplicate and since we have seen that md5 hash of uh, file file named a file named a copy and file named a copy 11 is same so it showed us that these are the three possible uh, duplications and which of these we want to preserve so if you want to preserve let's say one then we can just type one and according to it there are no other duplications so if we go to f5 and again and we will see that we are having a11 a a1 b and b1 So let's try that again. So yes, so we've removed the duplicate files. So if we will calculate the MD5 hash of the files again, we are having A, then we are having A1, then we are having MD5 B, then we are having MD5 B1. So we can see that we have different md5 hash of different files so fdubes didn't consider them as duplicates so this is how we uh, delete uh, duplicate files in masses so 
let's uh, try one another thing which is to say that mm -hmm. we are having let's say C D A and A1. Okay, so in this case we just uh, over since we know that we are creating duplicate files of these uh, of the original file so md5 hash and the content of this file uh, these new files will be the same just to verify it we can have md5 calculated for any of these files So they are same. Now if you will run that f command again. So it won't run over here. So it is showing that we are having these many possible uh, duplications. So if you want to delete all of them, then we have, uh, and uh, we want, if, if you want to delete all of them, you can't do that. Uh, but we can preserve any of these files or we can preserve all of them. So in case you will type all, then file won't be deleted. And you can see that we have all the files intact. But if we will run this app dupes and uh, if we will preserve let's say third copy, so all will be deleted except this one. So if you are having files such as uh, doc files, uh, excel files, images, this fdupes works great in a great way. So use carefully, read all the documentations before using it. Uh, which uh, So there is a, a readme um, file inside it. So re uh, read this so that you will know it, what all uh, features this software provides and uh, what all options do you have while using it. So let's say if you want to uh, see the size of the files, then hyphen s uh, shows the file. So what it does is, so let's say if you are having, uh, if you are having, uh, yeah, so we are creating a new file, new duplicate file, and now if we will run this fdupes command, but over here we will type as capital S then it will show us the size as well which is 3 bytes each so size of each uh, of the duplicates is 3 bytes so it becomes really hard uh, or becomes easy really easy to identify if duplication is there and and to identify if there is any problem faced by the software so in case the size of the file have some difference then most possibly um, these files are not identical so fdupes uh, shows us the size uh, that okay the size of each file is this so that is kind of very helpful so yeah this is how we uh, use fdupes you can google fdupes uh, to download it or you can just go to uh, go directly to code.google.com slash fp slash fdupes and if you will access that, then you will be able to access the page of it. Thank you for watching the tutorial. Please don't forget to click on the subscribe button for receiving more updates from Being Skilled.